to be a coral reef trying to expand, selecting shapes and colors to score the most pattern points? Do you want to see the playthrough of Reef? In this video, we're going to show you a brief playthrough of part of the game of Reef and describe what we're doing, just to give you a flavor of how the game flows. Coming up. Hi, it's Tarrant and Stella from Equal University bringing you a variety of quality board game videos. On this channel, we do a lot of overview, how to play, vlog and play through, just like this one. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing and do hit the bell to be notified of when we post new videos. Now let's get to the playthrough of Rift, designed by Emerson Matsuuchi and published by Next Move Games. Yes, we're going to go through about five minutes of play of this game, give you an idea of how it flows. Um, I'm the first player because I have the starfish on my board. Yep. Uh, we've got our starting cards, our starting victory points, and so we shall get into it. Sure. And the first thing I'm going to do, sure. I've got my first pick. I've got some cards here that will give me yellows and mm -hmm. reds. So this is actually meant to be face down um, in real game. So I'm just showing you what I have and what Taryn has. Um, we should know each other's card, and again, as I'll with our playthrough, we're just going to show you how it works, not really concentrating much on the strategy. Yep. <coughs> okay, so I've got good ways of getting some yellow and red out. Yep. So this objective here is going to work pretty well for me, so I'm going to grab that one into my hand as my first action. Yep, and the cut refresh. We'll replace that. Very good. So what I'll do, um, this look, looks pretty, probably pretty good, but I've got this one here that gives me a red objective. This gives me four, so stack of four with red at the top. Um, I think I've got really nothing that I can work on, so I'm just gonna grab something. I'm probably gonna try this. Hopefully I can combo it with the red one later. Okay, and of course that's gonna rely on some reds coming out here oh. like that. Okay, I've got three cards in hand. I can choose one more. And if I think ahead, I've got a couple here that are going to make purples. Yep. There's an objective here that will score double level purples. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to combo all four of these cards yep. together into some nice into some nice points. So you'll see that mm -hmm. in action soon. Very good. Now, I can still take a cut, which I'm going to take because I'm after the red. And here's another red. Okay, so the maximum hand limit is... Four. Is four, so we yep. both have to play cards on the next turn. <coughs> okay, so first thing I'm going to play is this one. So that's going to start by giving me two red coral. Now I want to score these red coral on here, so I want to give them space to have yellows nearby. So I'm going to, I'll put them like that for now. Uh, that's going to give me some good capability there. And then I score this objective. Yep. So this is one of the more complicated objectives. I'll look to my highest yellow stack, which is this one. Yep. Count the purples around it, which is one. Mm -hmm. And gain two points for each. So that's two points for me. Very good. You are winning. Yes. Not for long. <laughs> so my turn. I'm, I think I'm going to start lying some reds. So I'm going to play this card. Can you pass me two red corals, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, I'm going to try to object uh, to reach this objective and that one. So, I kind of like want to try to get the red around the green um, and maybe later on putting the green there and spread the reds. And this one, I can probably put um, two reds or I can probably score right now, which is this one at the moment. It's not much, but it's early there and I need the red. So, I'm going to just put the red. Like so, I'm going to put it probably here, yeah. and then I can just cover it later. Hopefully, yeah. So I scored two points as well. Very good. Equal sailing now. Okay. Um, continuing on, I'm going to play this card. Yeah. It's going to give me two yellow coral, which I'll drop in there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then I can score this objective. I've got one set of yep. purple green. Yep. 
it's flipped around, but it's there, and that's going to give me three points. So as I build my bigger combos, I'm generating some micro points along the way. Very good. Now I am... Ooh. Now I'm going to try this so that you can see how that works. So I'm going to try to get this card because I've got some yellow here that I can possibly score it for four points. Four points is not too bad at the start of the game. And two green, which is fine. So because I am taking a card on top of the um, deck, I have to pay one and I put it on the card with the lowest victory point there. So that's why that's what I do. Okay. I'm now going to score this one that I've been building up to. Yep. So firstly, I place two purples down. Mm -hmm. And what I want to do with my purples is then score this objective, mm -hmm. which requires purples of exactly two height. So if I put them there, mm -hmm. I've got that objective covered for next round. Mm -hmm. And I score this objective on this round. So that's three points for every yellow-red. Mm -hmm. I've got three sets of those now, so that is nine points. So let me Ooh. return that one and cash it for a ten. That is a really good point. So what I'll do, I'm going to try to play this one now. Um, pass me two yellow, please. I'm going to try mm -hmm. to achieve that objective, la objective later. So I'm going to try that. And I score. Um, what's the red, the red surrounding my green coral is one, two, three. So that's six not points. bad. Six yeah, points. Yeah, six points. Yep. Thank you. Very good. <coughs> okay. I can now either try to score this one, or I can try to work out what I'm going to do with these greens once I've scored it. Mm -hmm. um, it does look like I've got a potential to score this one. So what I might do before I score there, I'm going to grab this one. I think I can make mm -hmm. good with that. Excellent. Well, ooh, that looks pretty good, the one that you just revealed. I do want to score this. I, I can put green and then see if I can score other things for green, hopefully. That one, that's probably possible. So I'm going to do this now. Um, pass me two greens, please. Mm -hmm. yep. So I will score this three for four, but I have to place this one first before I score, just in case I place it here. So that means that I won't get any, any points from that card. So I will place the green. Um, I'll probably... Place it like so. We'll see what happens. Okay. Okay. So that gives me four points. Four points for the yellow L's. Yep. <coughs> okay. I'll now score this one. So I place ah tumbles. I yep. place two greens. Ultimately, here I need some greens on level two or above that mm -hmm. I can make diagonal with yellows. Yep. Um, Very good. So I might. What am I scoring? I'm scoring yep. my purple. So I might mm -hmm. put them here. That way I can try to get some yellows going that way at a height mm -hmm. of two later. Yep. Uh, I've got one set of a pair of uh, purples of two height. Yep. So that's going to give me five points. Very good. I just realized what I've just done because I should have left the red alone because mm -hmm. then that was easier for me to score that later on. But never mind. I can change my strategy. So, I'm probably going to try to get this. Okay. Thank you. Alright, and we've gone through a few rounds, we've yep. scored a few objectives there, so we'll leave it at that. That's the end of our one round playthrough of Reef. And that's the playthrough of Reef. We hope that you enjoyed the video and we hope that you enjoy playing. If you would like to learn the rules to Reef in full, we have a how to play video and you can check that out on the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know by clicking the like button, write your questions or feedback in the comment sections below. You can also join our Facebook group, Maple University Community, to share your love of board games. And finally, if you'd like to be among the first notified of what's new from Maple University, please consider subscribing to our channel. You can click on the Maple up in the corner to do so, and do hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Until next time!